Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I only meant to start this game about a year ago, but other games sort of got in the way. At least they lasted much longer than I thought they would. And all things considered, starting this game at this time of year isn't a terrible idea with Halloween coming up. A new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer a series of questions about the type of vampire you would like to play and allow the game to create your character? No. No. Actually, I would like to see what the questions are, but I'm afraid... All right, you know what? Let's see what these questions are. Would you like your character to be male or female? Yes. Yeah, see, we're already putting the cart before the horse here. I, I'm just going to answer the way I think I'm going to design this character, and as you're walking home late at night, you hear footsteps, glance back, and suddenly realize someone is following you. Do you confront them, duck behind a tree to lose them? I think I confront them. You met someone at a club, and they took you back to their place things start getting interesting when all of a sudden you hear someone come in the front door their spouse do you head to the kitchen let them see you pretend you're a distant cousin and they were nice enough to let you stay on the couch gather up your clothes hide behind the door and slip out of the apartment as quietly as possible calmly explain you had no idea they were married and that you intend to leave and never come back keeping your finger over the speed dial in case you need Please. Uh, aren't there other choices in this situation that maybe are a little messier, but I'm already, I'm already lost by these questions. I have no idea how my character would be crafted by these questions. They seem, <laughs> they seem fairly inconsequential to me, these questions, but okay. I'm continuing along here. Being a night person, you watch a lot of late night TV movies. Three movies are on. Which one do you watch? Fist of the Monkey King, a wire foo film with that scene where Wu beats 20 armed men with his bare hands. That's pretty awesome. Sort of the Bushi, Bushi, Japanese film where a lone samurai cuts a path through a gang of Yakuza. Sergeant Murderstein the third cop that doesn't play rules. <laughs> Thanks on the drug cartel that kidnapped kidnapped his daughter with only his trusty 44 to back him up. I'm not watching any of these movies, to be honest. Um, I guess of all of them, I'm watching the samurai movie. You're in a convenience store looking through the beer freezer. Nice freezer. What the hell freezes their beer? When all of a sudden, a man walks in and pulls a gun on the cashier. Do you sneak up behind him, disarm him, and proceed to beat him senseless? Quietly make your way to the bathroom and lock yourself in. I'm probably going to do number one, but end up dying. An intruder has broken into your house and has entered the room. The room? The room I'm in? You have no choice but to confront them. Do you overpower and wrestle them to the ground, breaking as many bones as possible? Grab the heavy lamp next to your bed and smash their face in. Grab your gun and fire into them. You keep one next to you. Yeah, absolutely. You're on a hike in the woods near dark. When you spar spot a mountain lion on the path ahead of you, do you grab a ban branch and run after it's screaming? Gather up a handful of rocks and start throwing them. Um... How come I didn't take the gun that I have by my bed when I went on a hike? I grab a branch and run after it screaming for some reason. The world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Why? I live alone. I don't need others. Just me, my dog, and to hell with the rest. Stay out of sight, and the world won't even know you're there. Um, let's just... Okay, this is interesting. You have been embraced by the Gangrel Clan, sometimes called nomads, loners, introverts, 
The gangrel spurn the trappings of civilization and prefer to roam the wilds in solitude. Known for having an uncanny connection with the beast within, some learn the power to shapeshift. Do not show help text, okay? Your vampire attributes and abilities have now been determined and entered into its character sheet. Vampires are its. They're it. That's degrading. Which you will see next after your tour of the character sheet. You may make changes to the character or simply play it as it is. Okay. These are your attributes and abilities which feats are derived from. Attributes are inherent, are your inherent character traits and are broken into three categories. Physical, social, and mental. Okay, physical, social, mental. Got it. Abilities are things you learn and also are broken into three categories. Talent, skills, and and knowledges knowledge or a knowledge should just be i don't know about pluralizing that but okay um yeah attributes are your inherent character traits abilities are the things you learn and also are broken into three okay got it members of the animalistic gangrel clan are close to their inner beast and so your strongest attribute is physical in which you have two points you can spend you also have one point to spend in mental and no points in social a gang grangrels i think they a lot of typos here a gangrels weakest attribute okay social is gangrels weakest attribute as for abilities being gangrel gives you an advantage in their warrior skills in which you have three points to spend you have only average abilities and talents, two points, and are weak in knowledge. Feats are the actions you perform in the game. Feats are derived from adding an attribute and an ability. Okay, so if I, all right, understood. An example would be the feat of lockpicking, which is derived from the attribute of dexterity and the ability of security. Hovering your mouse pointer over a feat will highlight the attribute and ability upon which it is dependent. Except here. Okay. Overt mental feats are... All right, so these are like sort of, I don't know. Um, they are sort of... What would you call it? Not, I don't want to say meta. They're like, they're just combinatorial, sort of. Okay. You are a member of the Gangrel clan, closest of all vampires to their inner nature. Gangrels have a keen understanding of the beast in their souls and prefer to spend their nights in communion with the animals whom they so emulate. Their disciplines are animalism, animal communion. All right, so we have feats. We have attributes. Ta uh, attributes... What was the other one? Talents? No. <laughs> Attributes and skills or whatever, and uh, feats and disciplines are animalism, animal communion, fortitude, vampiric toughness, a protean and protean shapeshifting. All right, then. This is your humanity. Seven is the norm. Ten is saintly. So I'm the norm. And the lower you go, the closer to the beast you become. Also, the lower your humanity, the greater your chances, chances of frenzying. When a vampire goes into a frenzy, he loses all control and attacks any and all things around him. Things are beings. It's like attacking rocks around him? I guess, maybe. However, as you gain experience, you can spend experience points to increase your humanity. This is where your masquerade violations are displayed. The masquerade is a code by which many vampires unlive. Okay, get it. Anytime a vampire, I think that's supposed to be one word, anytime a vampire is seen doing a supernatural act by a mortal, it is considered a masquerade violation. You have five chances, and each strike will have repercussions. 
If you commit five masquerade violations, you will be dealt with harshly. So is there no, once I commit one, there's no way to restore my good masquerade standing, like up one more point. If I'm down to four masquerade points, I can't do something. Okay. This is where all information on things you are hovering over is displayed. Okay, that down there, I guess. The auto level on off button is a toggle that allows you to decide whether you want the computer to allocate the experience points you earn in the game among your attributes, abilities, and disciplines, or whether you wish to allocate them yourself. So feats are the only sort of meta skill. They're the only ones where things combine to give you like you don't combine attributes and disciplines for some other thing. Okay. Or whether you wish to allocate them yourself, the recess set stats button is another toggle that allows you to clear out your point allocations so that you can start over or return them to their last settings. Can I do that mid game? That's odd. The cancel button allows you to return to your last point in the game without changing your character sheet. Hmm. Once you are satisfied with your character settings, click on the accept button to play the game. So this is my gangrel female, I think, right? Does it tell me? I thought I chose female. <laughs> I do, I can tell all three of my viewers right now, I'm not going to be a female gangrel. That is not happening. So, what a level is off. That's good. I want it off. We're going to cancel out here. All right. We're going to lose our character sheet. I just wanted to see what questions they would ask. That was interesting. That might fill up those characters. Those questions, they need... They need an editor. Let's see. Okay. So if you are among the three viewers that watched my Vampire the Masquerade Redemption series, you know that I wasn't, wasn't steeped in Vampire the Masquerade lore. I wouldn't say I'm steeped now, but I would say I'm more steeped. I know a bit more about the clans. I know... I have a sense of what, well, I did a bit of a deep dive. Um, there's a lot to take in. I can't tell you that I remembered everything. Just being honest here. Um, I, after doing the deep dive, getting to know the clans, getting to know the factions, um, getting to know the ancestors, gain, Second generation, third generation antediluvians, fourth and fifth generation Methuselahs, and so on. Um, got a good sense of what I wanted to be. And my first instinct was Nusferatu male. I wanted to play this game as a Nusferatu male, but the more... I sort of looked into it the more I kind of found out that first-time players I mean I don't think I'm gonna be horrible as a Nosferatu male but I may just have a bunch of masquerade violations um, unless I just like pour all my attributes all my character points into obfuscate and you know have him my character here differently or go invisible the whole time and that's going to be a lot of blood blood magic or whatever a lot of magic of blood points that i'm burning up on magic um that first time playing it i, I just don't want to lose a lot of blood that way so my so the reason why i wanted to be nosferatu male because i think it would be interesting to have to dodge around the masquerade and I also I don't want to be 
Sabat. I have a problem with Sabat. Um, I guess technically, technically, Kristoff, being Bruja, his sire or Cyrus, <laughs> um, was Bruja, so he became he became part of Clan Bruja, right? And Clan Bruja is definitely Sabat. They're like Ground Zero for Sabat because they. Being Carthaginians, they were battling against the Roman clans, and the Roman clans was where the Camarilla originated. Um, I think I've got that right, lore-wise. But I have a problem with the bot ideology. I think it's it's very close to a certain left-wing ideology in our real world. <laughs> I think the Camarilla and traditionalism is a better way to go. Now, interestingly, it seems like everybody's kind of against the anti-Diluvians anti coming back. So, traditionalism only goes so far, even with the Camarilla. From what I could tell, the Camarilla is just all about the European clans maintaining order, maintaining an, a hierarchy within that order structure, the Camarilla society, and not doing anything crazy to break that up, unlike what the Sabat wants. Now, there is independent plans, but they just seem like they, they're fence sitters. That's all. That's the problem with independence. So, faction wise, I'd like to be Camarilla, which Nosferatu would be, and it would be interesting to be the sort of gruesome traditionalist Nosferatu character. And I was really leaning towards that, but again, first time playing this, masquerade violations, not really knowing what I'm doing, Nosferatu is a bit dicey for me. So my next step was Gangrel Mail, right? But my understanding is Gangrel is Sabat. So that's a problem. So then I thought if I'm so worried about masquerade violations and first time playing, well, much as I would like to be Nosferatu making fun of Toreador. Maybe I should dive into the deep end of the masquerade and just be so masquerade friendly that violations would rarely happen, right? And who better than a Toreador female to adhere to the masquerade, right? I mean, she's, uh, she's a shoe-in, you would think. So I think I I haven't played I haven't played a female character in a video game. That's the other thing. Like it's been it's been ten years since I played a female character in a video game, and it was um, I can't even remember the name of the video game. All I know is at some point um, she was running around in her underwear. That's all. <laughs> that game it. It was a shot. Uh, maybe la I, it may come to me later on, and I'll I'll mention it. Just anybody curious what that video game was. If I if I can rem remember what it was, it was I will break immersion and and bring it up and and mention it. So hopefully this isn't going to be a disaster for me, not having played a female character in a video game in a long time. Um, hopefully it doesn't irritate the uh, stuffing out of my three viewers. That I'm playing not only a female character, but the snobbiest of all clans, the beautiful ones, the Toreador. But I think there are there, there's potential here for oh I don't know interesting interactions. So there we go. That's who I'm going to be. I don't know if you have to you have to give a last name. I don't think you do, but I think for obvious reasons. That's her first name, and that's my character. Now, 
for disciplines, I'm, I'll get to the attributes and the abilities. Um, for disciplines, I'm not, I'm really, honestly, I, I knew, like, you know, uh, looking at Nosferatu, I knew it was like potence and obfuscate and one of the other ones might have been animal, animalism, it doesn't matter. Um, but I had a better grasp on Nosferatu and Gangrel disciplines than I did Toreador. Toreador is, you know, it's not something I would have chosen. The only reason I'm, you know, so it's not something I looked into. Uh, the only, again, the only reason I'm choosing it is just first time playing it, masquerade, violation-free playing, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Um, I'm sure I, I could do some things to violate the masquerade, even as Toreador, like, you know, casting spells in front of mortals' faces. That might be bad. So, Discipline Auspex enhances your mental faculties and allows you to perceive the auras of those around you as well as see better in darkness. Like that, all levels of Auspex cost one blood. What is that? Like one blood point? One, am I going to... When my blood pool is full, am I going to see the total amount of points that I have in my blood pool? Like, what does this mean? Cost one blood per activation. Auspex carries no risk of violating the masquerade. That's nuts. I like that. Or as of those around you, I would also like it to tell me, well, I guess, I don't know if, if loot in this world is going to be hard to find, but it would be nice if Auspex made loots, loot and, you know, secret doors that take you to loot, more obvious, but, okay, fine. Celerity, vampiric. Preternatural speed, the world will seem slow while you remain unaffected. All but the first level of celerity are obvious supernatural acts, and using them in safe areas is considered a violation of the masquerade. Okay, so I can do some first level celerity tricks, but second level stuff, uh, mortals start to think to themselves, what the heck was that? Got it. Presence. The dread presence of the vampire can strike mortal fear into the hearts of their own opponents, even other vampires. Reduces enemies' effectiveness in combat. All levels of presence cost one blood per activation. Presence carries no risk of violating the masquerade. Alright, so I have two disciplines I can use anywhere. Celerity and celerity first level stuff I can use anywhere. So I like this. I'm not just, you know, a, First glance here, I'm not violating um, the masquerade very often. All right, so I'm Toreador. Obviously, we got to have the charisma. And I'm most probably a manipulative bitch. So I want manipulation, but appearance. What is the different? Charisma is my. Tell you what. I'm not worried about charisma. I'm worried about manipulation and appearance. I, judging by my first name, I only care if people think I'm beautiful. My character only cares if people think she's beautiful. She doesn't care if you find her uh, pleasing to hang out with. Okay, perception. Perception measures your... Yeah, so you, like, let's just... Measures your character's ability to, sw to sway others through personality. Charisma is an important part. The persuasion feat. Now, persuasion is an amalgamation of what? Measures your character's ability. Okay, so it's telling me it's charisma and scholarship. Okay, that's interesting. Intimidate is intelligence and intimidation. Okay, I don't know why you, why you have to be Smart to intimidate. Seduction. Appearance and subterfuge. Okay, so if I want my character to be a harlot, I need subterfuge and appearance. Bumped up. Lock picking. I want to know what I um, think I'm dexterity and security. Interesting. I 
I don't think I'll need stealth very often. Narcissa may avoid melee. I think she's going to want to get good at firearms, though. Lethal, your ability to shrug off damage from bladed melee weapons while vampires may defend against lethal damage with their defense feet. They are nearly helpless once the blow is landed. Clothing and body armor add to your lethal soak. Is what? Oh. Okay. We don't. These are not. These are. These don't seem to have parent abilities and attributes. That's interesting. Okay. Armed. So this would be like kung fu. This would just be melee with hands and. She's gonna get good. Good at range. I'm thinking, and maybe defense as well. All right, so ranged weapons, we need exception for her. I want security, I want lock picking and ranged. Um, so at some point, uh, I want that kind of, that's nice, that kind of, no, fire, right, range is firearms, I need firearms, lock picking is for, is what again? It is dexterity and security. Okay. So perception, firearm, security, and dexterity. I've got to remember that I'm going to concentrate on that. Abilities. Um, I still have more to go, so I don't want... Oh, I see. It's, yeah, I won't... They're not... Got it. We need subterfuge. We might as well do two there. And again, we need that for seduction, right? Um, dodge, intimidation. I think if subterfuge doesn't work for her, she's more than ready to intimidate someone. Not going to be the nicest being on two feet. Knowledges. All right. So, what was seduction? What was persuasion? Was charisma and scholarship? What finance haggle? That they, you know. I think we need that, and I think we need. We're going with persuasion. We need spell. Needs to be a little snooty, does she not? All right. So. Discipline-wise, I have one point to allocate. I, you know, just at a guess, it would be Auspex. But I think I would... Dread Presence of the Vampire can strike. More no, yeah, because if we're working on Intimidate, we're going to need Presence. All right. I think that is our character. I think. All right? I didn't forget to allocate any points. We'll accept that. The embrace, the act of transforming a mortal into a vampire. <laughs> I want to show you something. I think Narcissa has stepped into something as a mortal. You didn't expect. Got in over her head. So three hours later? How long does the embrace take? Man, that apartment is a piece of crap. What's, what's my character doing in there? Oh, whoa. Okay, that didn't last long. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. 
We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. Oh, it's they were caught shortly violation. after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence. The child or Childa? Up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more what did I do wrong? than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Oof. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Gotta be an anarch, right? It's a bot. Some kind. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity. Be mocking him by walking the same way he is? Transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. I'm going to say Narcissa isn't big on labor. Can she subcontract out the labor? Hire somebody else to do it? Item gained. Hands. Gained hands. My blood pool is not looking exceptionally filled at the moment. My. So why is that... The blue dial on, or the blue gauge on the left, is that stamina? Is my blood going down? <laughs> what a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then it is plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know. Probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? You seem a little beneath Narcissa. Are you kindred? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is 
I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out. Okay, I could use the help. I don't have much time. Just give me the basics. What happened in there? I don't need anyone's help. I'm out of here. Well, it's... He... Does he have enough time to tell no, me what happened there? No, you'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time's a wasting. You want some help or what? Well, could you... I mean, I guess I'm supposed to know I'm kindred somehow. Um, sure. Just give me the basics. Youngsters these days. Well, you're a funeral, kiddo. But keep a couple things in mind before you go. Now, these lessons aren't just for your benefit, so listen up. First, the masquerade. You're gonna be hearing a lot about this, so let me sum up real quick. Sure, you're a vampire. Great. Keep it to yourself, okay? It's easier that way, trust me. That's the masquerade. Keeping vampire secrets secret. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you violate... That teeth like he's a vampire. ...run around spooking humans or whatever, you make things harder on all of us. Then all of us get pissed off when we come after you, and you end up like your sire there, staked and baked. Comprende, kiddo? Okay, I get right it. On. Next, humanity. Being a vampire isn't the end of the road. You think life was hard? Just wait. Now you're half beast, half man, and it ain't quite an easy fit. You're gonna be fighting that beast for the rest of your days, every time you give into it. Whenever you kill an innocent, you feed the beast a little more, and it grows a little stronger. After a while, the beast can take over, and you'll go wild and have to be put down like a rabid dog. So, you know, fight it. Don't be a homicidal maniac. That'll help with the masquerade, too. See how it all comes together? Ain't that nice. Yes, very charming. Now, with all that said, you still have to keep your ass alive. For that, you're gonna have to feed. That's a little blood sound, kiddo. I imagine you're feeling that thirst right about now, huh? Get it where you can, however you can. Just remember the first two lessons. Don't let anyone else see you feeding. They'll flip out and cause you to break the masquerade and cause some bigger, badder vampire to come stomp a mud hole in your ass. Also, drink deep, but don't drain them dry. See, that's giving in to the beast. If you do that, you lose a grip on your humanity and you lose control. There we go again. It all fits together. Beautiful. Can you dig it? Righteous. Now, ship off like a good little soldier. If you pull this off, come downtown to the last round and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. Until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> Press log updated. Your Haven, Prince Lacroix, 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 has arranged for you to use the Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica as your haven. Well, these accommodations are not suitable for Narcissa. We need a maid immediately. Do people realize that? Can, oh, you know what? Can I see myself in the mirror? We Do we have... Uh, well, somebody got rid of the mirror, huh? All right, what do we have here? Seems like it's drawing my attention to it. Can I... Oh, easy there, Narcissa. Easy there. Whoa, I just did a spell thing. Okay, blood buff, one. All right. Um... How do I get out of melee? See something here. Options. How do I toggle melee? That's uh, mouse one. Toggle attack mode. So if I hit enter, am I going to attack again or? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I that trim is awful. How the heck do I get out of attack mode and get back into the first per person mode? Let's see here. How do I take something? The only thing I changed here, I think inventory wise, I went with change the, did it not stick inventory? Where is 
wanted to change inventory anyway. Use E, okay. But how do I take general inventory of four seat? Yeah, I want. I don't know why that got reset, but I want I. Inventory at the key ring. Your key contains these keys, no keys. Okay, interesting. Exit out of that. Why is this thing flashing in front of my face? Fill bottle. Right, so... Is it E? Is it that simple? Is it just E? What is E? E is... No, E is walk. Move forward, turn left, jump, duck, swim. If my primary attack, taggle attack, attack mode, reload weapon. Use vampire powers, mouse 2. Alright, so... And active disciplines, walk, melee weapons, ranged weapons, armor, general inventory, must use weapon, hockey feeding, weapon, mouse, mouse look is, okay, take screenshot, not really seeing a pick item up there, interesting. Alright, and I'm still in... Melee mode. I am still in melee mode. I'd like to get out of that. Last use weapon. Drop current item. Key menu. Feeding. Feeding is F. I gotta remember that. Character editor. Editor. Quest log. Toggle third person camera. So that is Z. Alright, let's try that. Maybe I don't... There we go. I'd much rather be in first person for the time being. Alright, now... E seems to be take, use, all kinds of stuff. Okay. You have five emails. Five are unread. Home menu. Available menus. Email. Narciss at home. Okay. Let's do email and read our email. Password required. Do I? Did they tell me the password? Control C. Hacking feet. Skill too low to make hack attempt at difficulty five. Hmm. Um, so I'm not going to be able to read my emails. Oh, I see. So, but this is my. You have five emails. What the heck? So I can't get into my own email? Until my hacking skill goes up? That's bizarre. Alright, fine. Do I want to see what's on the TV? Of the gate at Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero Star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning, was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. In a yeah, in the harbor. All right, why? Oh, we have a screensaver there. Here we go again. I'm gonna have to get used to the use key. I'm gonna have to. S I know you're angry, Narcissa, about what just happened to you, but you know, when you go into apartments like this and you hang out with people who live in apartments like this, um, Life-changing things may happen. Quest log updated. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood. Our curse. Alight this verse. 
Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremiri Regent. Ah, they're Tremiri. They're sort of annoying. How do I get to my quest journal? What is... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to options. What is the quest journal? Dialogue history. Cancel selection. Take a screenshot. Third person. Holster weapon. Character editor. Feeding. Hotkey menu. Venom, last use weapon. Next selection. General Is my journal in my general inventory? Maybe that's where I'm headed. Gonna take some these controls are gonna take some getting used to. There's no doubt. Okay, so this is just backpack. This is all combat required fists. So all I have is fists. These are weapons. This is my armor, I suppose. Okay, so we do, oh there's there's the pills. Okay, so I did pick them up my wallet. Where is my journal? Where do I... do I want... Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. What, is that the same guy that left me this? M. Strauss. No, so Mikuro and Strauss are two different people. Sunrise. I knew it was Sunrise all along. I knew it was Sunrise all along. Password accepted. Enter an email. A reminder. A reminder from LaCroix, Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. So, SL, his... What's his first name? It's only Prince LaCroix, as far as I know. Okay, let's go to our next email. Subject, dang, it's big, you know. Hello <laughs> at Trojan Botnet. Penis enlargement, okay. Looks like in her mortal life, Narcissa or has already augmented her assets, if you know what I'm saying. So I don't think she has to worry about any of that. Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter from Arthur at DirtCheapInternet.vtm Looking for that lazy-ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments? I think uh, Narcissa's looking for her first husband and... If immortal life, if immortal society is anything like mortal society, they owe her a good man. She's, she is entitled to the world bringing her a good man. You know, six foot tall, six figures, six inches of the previous email and above. How about that jerk who knocked you up? How about the guy who turned me into a vampire? Look no further. He seems to be missing his head at the moment. With Arthur Kirk Kilpatrick's amazing crime pewter, you can find almost anyone with a record. And these days, that's just about everyone. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the dead beat, we've got the technology to find him. He's, he's uh... I don't know what happens to the kindred when they, um... Vanish like my sire. What happened? Where did they go? Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. How do you get situated as a vampire? You just became a vampire and now you're situated? Also, it was 345 when they broke in and took me and my criminal sire away. Um, what time is it now? When's the sun coming up? Would Narcissa at this point know that she needs to avoid the sun? Need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. 
I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street, in number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. Okay, so Main Street, end of the alley, on the right. Do we have another email to read? The opening. A friend. Game begins. A pawn is moved. Cryptic. Okay, I think we can quit. Right up there, and I think... We can quit, period. Type list to get the available commands. Let's, um... How do I get out of here? Do I just hit enter? And I just do Q? And that... Okay, there we go. It's hard to exit out of that one screen. Is it not? Now, did anybody leave me anything good here? They left me some blood. I'll be damned. Okay. So now I have some blood. I can carry up to 10 blood packs. All right. That was nice of the previous resident to leave me. Slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to. Don't think Narcissa would eat that as a mortal either. Don't know. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the uh, Yacht Club. Uh-huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Okay, that was getting boring. Do I have a clock in here? Did the computer tell me what time it was and I didn't see it? I have no idea what time it is, do I? Can I turn on and off the lights? I cannot, I don't think. Do I really have to sleep there? Really? Guess I want to close my door, right? Is it locked? Can I lock my door? I'd like to lock my door. Can I do that? I do this. Can't use can't drop. Okay. That doesn't seem to do much for me. Somebody's newspaper down there. And to the plant. I don't think I want to bother the neighbors. I don't think. I think I'm going to... Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Well, can I flip through the rest of the paper or no? No, it doesn't look like I can. Which, what, which one am I? I am 508. Am I not? Do I want to check this? Doesn't look like there's anything there. Fine. Right. I'm laughing. I don't know where that's coming from. Narcissa is about to step out into the night. She should know this town, shouldn't she? I mean, she may have just been sired, but she didn't just arrive here, did she? 